What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Buzz Edition. Today, we have explosive. We are reviewing an explosive interview that will have you on the edge of your seat. Get ready as DJ Oscar Ball spills the tea on podcast and chill with Mag G. Oscar Ball, the sensational DJ who took the music scene by the storm with his hit, Asan Bainey joined McG and Saul Penduga to address some of the rumors that were circulating about him. Okay? So, Oscar Ball, he said, let me set the record straight. There is more to the story than that, than what Miss and I, when it comes to missing gigs, is often due to logistical challenges and not just one-sided story. It just turns out that Oscar has faced criticism for allegedly missing pay gigs and also explain that there is often issues with logistics and promoters not meeting him halfway i don't know if i believe that they always say that but i'm not gonna lie these artists are always like that but lately he has been showing up to the gigs you know recently he was just playing in lesotho and you know people were so excited to see him but some people were on the edges because they were like is he really gonna show up because he's very notorious He's very notorious and monotonous. I don't know if that would be the good word to say, um, you know, for not showing up at the gigs, you know, very bad reputation. Even though he always talks about his brand, my brand this, my brand that, I got to represent, I got to do this, I got to make sure that I always appear like this. I'm like, okay, but that, that that's not what you are saving. That's really not what you're saving. You know what I'm saying? But... You know, he came to the interview, he said the record straight, and he showed them people, he told them people, he cleared, um, he, he told his side of the story and told people that this is not always my fault, it's always about the pro the um, the promoters, the promoters not meeting me halfway. I need that, like, what? But I want him to explain exactly what he meant by not meeting halfway. Like, what do you mean by meeting halfway? Maybe you're too demanding, you just become drama queen when you get there. You want, you know, expensive alcohol. You want this, you want that, you want that. That's how you want to be treated. I mean, we understand you are first class, A class celebrity, DJ, but some things are not meant for other people. That's a wrap on Oscar revealing this interview. We hope you enjoyed getting an inside scoop on his side. Remember to subscribe to the channel and make sure that you hit the like. Um, you'll get exclusive celebrity interviews and breaking news. Hit that like button if you find this interview informative. And please don't forget to comment below with your thoughts on Oscar Ball's revelations. Thanks for joining us today. Until next time, stay tuned for more electrifying news and entertainment. That's a wrap. But wait, there is more in Shock and Twist. He also addressed the rumors surrounding his fashion choices. There was once a time when Oscar was trolled for allegedly <laughs> wearing fake designer clothes, but he is here to set the record straight. You know, he set the record straight and he clarified some of the things that we wanted to know. You know, he did make sure that he wanted to clear the air. He said that he had no idea where this rumor started. And yes, he said that there was a time when as a young himself, he unknowingly wore fake labels. But he learned that from he learned from that experience and had decided to move on. How do you not know if you are in your fake designer? So it seems Oscar Ball has learned his fashion lesson and now serves his fans with authentic style and confidence, as we have seen. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to like. Don't forget to share. Listen, I don't. I don't listen. I'm not. I'm not. I mean, you was already woke. You was already woke and you should have known what you've been wearing. Like I have a lot of people that I've been seeing wearing fake designer. You cannot tell me that you did not know you was wasting your money on fake designer clothes this whole time. Were you buying this from LV or you were buying this from the freaking from the from the freaking Ali? Or from the black market? I mean, that's what it looks like. I mean, you should know if you're buying this from the back of the alley, you know that it's something wrong about it. You can't go buy a freaking uh, a designer bag and think that this is 
you know, I paid four thousand. I paid four thousand for this bag. Come on, what's that? And think that it's it's it. And think that is legit. No, that's not. That's not how it works, Oxenbar. You know, you knew what you was doing. You wanted to fit in, and then it worked for you. But you got exposed. But that's okay because you've learned from that lesson and you decided to move on. So that's fine with me. Now you make money. You don't care about none of those things. You can you can afford whatever you want. It is what it is. So I'm going to leave it right here for you guys. Just chime in in the comments. Just let me know how you feel about Oscar Ball wearing fake designer clothes. Not now. Just to wear fake designer clothes. Just go ahead and hit subscribe. Go ahead and hit like. Go ahead and share. I will see you guys with another video next time. Peace out.